transmitters? We don't need no stinking transmitters. This is the Metacast, a podcast for EMS providers by EMS providers, featuring EMS news, products, tips, tricks, and commentary. So grab your gear and glove up. Here's today's show with the pod medic, Jamie Davis. Garage. We're in slow motion. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the EMS Garage and the Metacast. Right on. Double edition. Super spectacular finale end, episode. End of the end of the thing. I'm, I'm sorry, it's over. I know. It, is, it has been an amazing time here at EMS today, 2011. I want to, you know, we're here in the Alad Tech podcast studio. Yes. Uh, and just uh, we're we're grateful to Alad Tech to uh, be sponsoring the show. But just so much going on here I know. at the event. And Chris, uh, it's always great to see you. And you'll head back to Colorado. I'll be here in Maryland, and we won't see each other till the next event. But I know. Uh, it just so many things going on. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But right. I know. Um, Alad Tech's provided us with uh, so many things and supported us for the podcast studio today and and sponsored this particular episode. And I was amazed at the things that this particular piece of software could do. I know. It's what, cool. And um, so I thought we'd maybe uh, – I think they have a guest. Brought they on do the have a guest, us. yes. Andy? So tell us who you are, where, you, where you're from, and what you do. Uh, my name is Andy Lovell. I'm the Chief of Emergency Medical Service for the County of Gloucester. Um, We are the first county-based EMS system in the state of New Jersey, so we're a little slower than the rest of the world at trying to figure out how to do that. Um, But we proudly serve uh, about 200,000 residents with uh, 230 employees responding from 10 stations throughout the county. Wow. uh, I bet that's hard to manage their schedule. it certainly presents unique challenges, sure. um, and we use a product called EMS Manager to do that for us, but it does much more than just manage a schedule for us. Right. Um, so tell us some of the features that you guys are using from, from the EMS Manager. Well, it's an, it's an, it's an online uh, or web-based service, which means we're able to distribute the information immediately. Once we post it, everybody has that information. So whereas um, prior to this type of application, we'd have to go post a schedule in 10 different locations, oh. and literally by the minute we would post the schedule, it was out of date. Sure. We were making changes based on that. Because you got that call like, oh, can you get my request to be off next Saturday? Mm. And all that stuff happens. Or my mother's sister's grandmother's <laughs> aunt um, just you know, had this opportunity, and now I need to take time off. Um, we're able to do all that in real time now. And probably one of the unique features, or one of the things that really saves us time, is uh, you can do all that now on a smartphone. So oh, if right. one of our if one of our guys wants to submit his availability, if he wants to request time off, if he wants to request a trade, he doesn't have to go to a desktop application. He can do that right from his smartphone. And on my side of it, or on any administrator side of it, I don't have to sit down to uh, I don't have to sit down to my desktop to manage that. I'll get an email that says, you know, here's the trade request, here's the other side of it, I can approve it. The schedule will get updated, the, the information will get emailed back to, you know, to the two folks that wanted to make the trade, everybody's notified of it, and I've never actually had to log in to do that. Oh, that's so, so it, nice. it just it just saves us tremendous amounts of time. And, and I know so many managers out there that, you know, once a week they take over the conference room table because of the sheer volume of paper and requests and calendars and things that they have to coordinate. And here it is in one one screen on your computer with tabs to go to different things. I was really amazed with the flexibility that uh, it gives, not just to you know the managers, but a lot of the people listening to this are, are, are currently employees, future managers, future supervisors. Clearly, um, it's a boon to your employees because it gives them a quicker and easier way to reach out and, and get their schedules arranged. They, they can do everything right, either from their desktop or from their phone. They can submit their availability. We use a large part-time workforce. About 120 of our staff members are part-time. Um, so their availability constantly changes. So they can submit all that to us, um, again, you know, in either version of the application so that we can make changes based on that. Whereas it used to take, you know, we'd have a call out, and one of the first things you'd have to do would be go find a phone list, start cranking the phone list, looking to fill that out. Literally with six or seven keystrokes, mm. I can now take, look and see who's got availability for that, send out a page to just that group of oh. individuals with an opening and get a phone call back in a couple of minutes and fill an opening that used to take me, 
you know, hours to fill, we can now fill in minutes. And, and from my standpoint, unfortunately, one of the jobs that I have to do is be a bean counter. Right. From a bean counter standpoint, we're able to lower our operational costs significantly because we're not, you know, we're not relying on overtime in cases when we didn't really need it. And it's basically, it's streamlining a lot of the things that you would have to do and just take up so much time. That, that, that to me is such, a t it can be a time suck just to fill a shift and, and to get somebody into that. And the streamlining process there is huge. Well, huge. And, and, and the application actually kind of has become the central clearinghouse for all the information within our department because wow. besides just the scheduling piece of it, there's a time and attendance piece of it, so as a manager, oh. I can look immediately and see what time everybody punched in, make sure all the, you know, make sure everybody showed up. If there's a call that's been going on since, uh, you know, since prior to shift change, I'm able to see that somebody's still not um, punched out yet, which means the call's still going on. Nice. So there's an event schedule in there where everybody in the department now becomes aware of all of the events that the department's participating in, not just the ones that they're assigned to it. Um, mm -hmm. There's a certification manager, and again, in our world. Um, if I neglect to notice the fact that somebody now has an expired certification, I have a regulatory right. issue I have to deal with. Correct. Um, so this can run reports for me. This notifies me as soon as I log in. It'll tell me who's you know who's coming up for expiration, what the expiration is. So it's just such a huge, huge piece of what we do. Um, one of the neat features, at least as far as we're concerned. Uh, is that on the home page, the thing that the guys see as soon as they log in, um, you can customize that yourself. So every month we offer a clinical education oh. uh, session, and so we change that every month, all, you know, all based on, uh, on what it is we're doing. So all the guy's got to do is open that up, and he's, uh, he's immediately advised of what's going on. If we put a new policy out, we pop that up there for everybody. So it's just, it, it has become kind of the central clearinghouse for everything within our department. Very cool. Wow. Do you, do awesome. you have... What, you say savings. Do you have a number? I mean, what, have, what yeah. are you projecting or, or what have you seen? What, what kind of savings has it brought in for you? Well, in our department, uh, without this, we would spend the equivalent of two FTEs trying to maintain that schedule. Oh, goodness. Um, and, and it's, you know, when we have a mixed workforce, we're, we're predominantly a career department, but we have a significant number of volunteers and interns that participate with us. So trying to stay on top of all that and schedule all of the... Um, all of the background piece that goes with that, all the clinical education classes, all the recertification classes, all that stuff, just becomes almost overwhelming. With this, the guys get much more flexibility in determining when they want to take those classes, mm. and we schedule those based on their availability. So instead of two FTEs, I've essentially got a half an FTE that oh maintains. So we're that talking stuff ten, now. tens of thousands tens of, of thousands dollars, dollars when you look and at the fact you've got somebody now available to do something else. And in a public environment, we're a public agency. Those, I mean, there's that's no, not, yeah, that's yeah. real numbers. Yeah, <laughs> there's there's no public agency right now that's swimming in too many dollars right now. <laughs> exactly. So we have to watch every one of those. Wow. Uh, so. When you you said when we were talking before the show that it's pretty nice for you because even in the morning that's the way you check the daily schedule you know what's going on you the very first thing when I jump in my truck in the morning our guys change shifts at five a.m. they do a thirteen hour day or an eleven hour night so they're on the street at five o'clock in the morning at six o'clock in the morning is usually when I start my day the very first thing that I do is log into uh, I log into the MDT in my truck, and that's the very first application I pull up. Because if we've had any shift changes overnight, there's a notification already sitting there for me, making me aware of that. Um, I, and as I say, I can go down real quickly, and I can see if everybody was in on time, because we use the time and attendance, which uses a, uh, a fingerprint scanner. Oh. Um, and, and while that doesn't seem like much. It's like CIA technology. Yeah, that's you cool. Know, you, you know, you kind of like, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. Yeah, but. Taking off track. But, but, you know, and, and now I'll go back to my experience as an employee before, you know, not being an administrator. You know, we all, we all work remotely. There is no supervisor in our stations. We all know that. Um, and as a professional, you know, I want to get there before. I, I don't want the guy leaving to go on a call five minutes before shift change. So I'm going to try and get there a few minutes early. But if I'm one of those stragglers that doesn't get there till late, yet I write down on a paper time slip that I was there, mm. I'm creating a huge conflict between myself and the other staff member, and that's not a fair position to put either staff member in. The fingerprint scanner doesn't lie. If you're late, you can't cover it up. So it just keeps everybody on their toes, levels the playing field, and, and candidly, it just lowers the amount of conflicts between the staff members tremendously. So where can we, 
so as you look at your service and you look to the future of what you're trying to do, do you have any plans to, you know, do you, can they look at the schedule, not only mobily, but do you guys have MDTs or something that they can keep updated with that? Or how, well, how else a, can you use that? In all of our stations, we have desktops. Okay. Of course, okay. they're able to see them there. They can see them from any, I mean, it's a, it's a web-based program, so any web right. browser will take you to that. Um, but our, our workforce, and, and you can see it in the MDTs in our trucks, it's just another application that's sure. on there as well, just like charting and everything else. But our workforce is um, predominantly folks less experienced at life than I am, which is a nice way of saying I'm an old fart and they're much younger than I am. Um, and they're just used to doing everything right. with their smartphone. You know? And see, and I think that's the other brilliance of this is it really appeals to, like I, I always say, I'm older and I kind of get this stuff. But uh, a lot of the people within our workforce already, they're they're on this thing all the time. I'm on it most of the time, but they're you know they live by this, and that that to me is just such a nice thing as a as a manager of a, of an organization too to to be able to say, hey, how can I reach the people that really need to be reached, and and that's it right there. So and and one of the things that I have to say about Alad Tech is, um, and we've been a customer with them for a while, and I was a customer with them from another agency that became Gloucester County EMS. Um, is that there have always been responsive to us every time we've come up with said, hey, you know, oh, if nice. this would do this, it would be really nice. And this application is something that was built specifically for EMS scheduling. It's not an adaptation of something coming over from another industry. So lots of folks have come in the door, try to peddle us another product. Mm. But when I start to talk to them about customization and, you know, trying to tweak it so it really is an EMS product, you get lots of pushback. Um, young aggressive company, Alad Tech. You know they've been evolving as we went along, and I'm sure not just with us. I'm sure with all the customers that they've got. But it really is an application that's the consolidation of all of us as EMS providers, and not somebody sitting in an office saying this is how you need to do it. Well, and I, I think that's cool to be responsive because I was actually going to say, well, how does this compare to ADP or something like that? And that that makes so, because we're always trying to take what we do and fit it into something else. And this is nice that there is something built for us. And I really appreciate that. So I know we can find out more information, aladtech.com. A-L-A-D-T-E-C.com. Yes. And I'm sure they'd be more than happy to give you a demo. I, we've done a demo for our service and we're contemplating it for our next budget cycle because I know that you know, my every time I come in, the scheduler's like this pulling out her hair and I think that uh, it's just time. And I don't have... 200 and some odd employees. I only have 30. And it makes a lot of sense. Even and, even and at that it level, is, it seems to make a scale, lot of sense. The price is scalable based on the number of employees right. you have. So I, I think it's highly affordable. I think it's affordable even for uh, you know smaller uh, volunteer organizations. Absolutely. Because uh, I just, think that would be more just valuable. scheduling duty crews and things like that is such a headache. Right. Even so, more valuable. And especially in a volunteer entity where one of the things you're always looking at is time contributed. Good point. You know, you've got, here's your resource to go and look that information up immediately yeah. and everybody's aware of it. There's no disagreement. <laughs> right, right. So just great. I, thanks so much for coming on thanks, and Andy. sharing your experiences. And I, I, I've seen a lad text demo. I've looked at it. They, they are so many things there and their regular update schedules and everything that they have involved. Uh, if you haven't at least looked at it, you're, you're, you're crazy and not doing your public a service. I agree. Now, Andy, say if somebody wanted to contact you to, to get your testimonial or find out how you guys use it, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can go to our website, which is gloucestercountyems.org, or they can reach out to us in the office, which is 856-307-7120, and just ask for me. Great. Thank you, sir. Great. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming on.